I just received a mystery box on my porch. But what's inside? I have no idea. Well, there's one way to find out. Let's unbox it together. Hey guys, we're back. And today we're doing Instead of repair and chat, we're doing unboxing and chat. And first, we added a new sticker. We're gonna to try to add a new sticker every time. So now we have a Xeon. And then I found my first badge from the gaming computer I bought a year ago. And that's how all this started. This was last summer. And I think this went to a video card, but it was on the case. Let's see how it's thick. Kind of cool so we'll keep that around and so what happened is uh, there's another youtuber that i watch his name is chris and the channel is dragon systems with some numbers you'll see a link right here i'll type it and he does a lot of reviews of hardware and gaming with a lot of gameplay so if you like to watch gameplay go see his channel check him out and he does all the games, which I don't do. So definitely check that out. And so I was commenting on his channel and I guess he found my channel and he has a lot of experience. He's been doing it for a long time. So when I would post a video about something and I didn't know what it was, usually he would follow up with some information. And so then we've got to talking since then, but I was looking at some of his video cards that he had and he said he had a bunch of low profile video cards. And I asked him if he would sell me one because I'm doing a small, my first small form factor gaming build soon. And he said, I have a lot of them. I'll just send you one. So I said, wow, okay, that's cool. And he said, in fact, I have a lot of extra parts if you want to play with them because I know you like older parts and tinkering and stuff like that and I guess he doesn't have time to mess with every single part because he has a lot and I only have a few so it's easier for me to play around with this stuff so he sent me this box and first of all it looks like a bomb if you left this at the airport, <laughs> you would be in trouble. There's so much tape on here. It looks waterproof. This would probably float. Or maybe there's cocaine in here, I don't know. So I don't know what's in here. I know there is a video card. And so I thought it would be fun if we took a look together. And it might take me an hour to uh, get through this tape here, so let's speed that up. All right, we're in. So let's see what we have here. Actually, I'll move this back and we'll just go one by one. This will be kind of a pop quiz because I may or may not know what any of these things are. And just a backstory, I, I've said this before, but for people that haven't heard my story, I was going to make a video about me and just my experience, but I haven't done it yet. Uh, basically, I was a PC tech in 96. I messed with computers from 96 till 2001. Then I went to a laptop, then I bought a desktop in 2006. I just had one, I didn't work on computers. So I, it, I went to the, like what would be the micro center at the time. And I just bought the kit, you know, where you just assemble everything. And that was my computer. And all I did on it was play mostly arcade ROMs and 
some other game, I forgot what it was. I don't know if it, maybe it was Counter-Strike. Not a whole bunch. But um, yeah, after that, 2008, I think I went back to a laptop and I had a laptop until Ooh. Wow. I don't think I had a desktop till no. 2021 maybe. And then last summer I bought this gaming PC that was in parts, like unassembled, it was missing the GPU. And then I went to buy a GPU and I put it together. And that's how I started messing with this stuff. And then I saw there was a bunch of things for sale all the time. So I just started buying and selling each thing. And that's where we are now. So I'm still, even though I went through a lot of things in a short amount of time, I missed several eras because I started with a GTX 1060. So I hadn't really heard of the other older so this is but we won't take it. So this is a GTX 550 Ti. It said tested to power on. So maybe that means that it was just quickly tested but not fully tested. So we'll test that and see if it works. Thing is full of cards. This looks interesting. ADM E8870. This looks like a machine card. He said he gets these some of these cards out of casino gaming machines. It looks See how it looks well built with the copper? I think this is a machine card. And that's probably why there's no normal plate. But that would be cool to try. So we have that. And... Actually, a little motherboard in here. So much tape. Thank Chris, you have an obsession with tape. That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It says works when last tested. So much tape. Yeah. Probably a lot of this stuff works. It's just, it's too old to really not for me, but for him, it's too old to really mess around with because it doesn't have a lot of value. So this is an AMD A8-7600, which I've never seen before. Asus A6HM just needs a cooler. Good. Oh, okay. That would be fun to mess with. I wish I would have had this when I was building the cardboard box PC. Because it's much smaller. And we have one. Oh, this thing is huge. 
GTX 260 max core. It's a lot of hard for being so old. Whoops, I accidentally turned it off, so where were we? Okay. That was that extra long card, and then we have this one. Very cool. Probably defective. Probably doesn't work, but very cool. Well, that's okay because cool things go on the wall. There are certain video cards that you just like to look at, not use. So, let's take a closer look. GTX 295. Never heard of such a thing. So I guess 90, right, would be the high end. I've seen a 285 before, but I had a 285 classified that I got for free. And I sold it on eBay, not knowing what it was for way too little. So I think a 295 would be something equally interesting. Oh, I see. Dual GPU. Wow. And when they used to make things cool, they don't make them cool anymore. I like that. That's a keeper. Also on the build list, just to give you guys a sneak peek, cardboard box PC is done. That video will be online soon. The next project after that is going to be the small form factor. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna take a small form factor, just standard, like a Dell Optiplex or something, and nothing fancy. We're just going to put in the SSD and a, and a graphics card. But what we're going to do is get one of those portable monitors and mount it to the side of the case. And try to make like what would be a, an old portable PC. And I thought it would be funny if we could go out somewhere and play a couple of games at Starbucks or something and just get the look on people's faces. Basically a giant laptop. And then after that, what we're gonna do at some point is because 2007 was the last time that I had my own built PC, I'm going to try and build a 2007 period correct PC. And I have some of the parts. And that, so I'm, that means I'm going to use one of those old white cases, you know, and probably a, what's in 2007, Core 2 Duo or something like that. Oh, this is nice. Oh, so tiny. I don't know what this is. Mini PCIe. It's a nice cooler. Oh man, you know what? 
This would have been perfect in the cardboard box PC. The problem I had was the fan was too high. I wonder if this would fit in there. I already modified it, but look how low profile that is. I could put that in a little tiny, tiny case. So I don't see any markings of what it is. There's serial ports, laptop memory. It's DDR3, so that's good. Looks pretty new. No writing on this, so I don't know. We'll give that a test. That's easy to test. It's already got the memory in it and everything. So cool. And what's in the black bag? Hopefully this is the small cotton factors. More tape. Chris, you're killing me. Alright, this is the last of it. So we have Quadro K600, which I don't know why that seems to come in every computer. I have now four of these, but they're all tall, so it's nice to have a small one. But that heat sink's not on there. One Quadro, two Quadro, three Quadro, four. Here we have a Quadro K2000. And another Quadro K2000. Actually, you know what? This this is perfect because uh, the next one of the next videos is going to be about the Dell Precision that I'm putting together, and it has a K600 in there, and I don't have the adapter for the PCI Express slot yet. And my plan with that was to turn that into just a basic workstation. Not really for gaming, but just more for work type stuff. And I was looking up the other Ks. So there was the K6000, 4000, 2000. So I assume that this is much better than the K600, right? So maybe I could just use this. It's brand new. Look, it's never been opened. Yeah, I guess, you know, a business or something, they had to have extra ones on hand. I also thought it would be interesting because the Precision, it has two X16 slots. So I wonder if I could just put both of these in there just for fun. It's not SLI or anything, just, just to have two in there, just to make it look beefy. And now the moment that I've been waiting for, this is supposed to be a special thing. Let's see. The Radeon E9260. embedded. See, and I, I watched his videos about this, and I'll link you to a couple of them. I don't know what embedded means. So is it just like a laptop GPU on here? That's, that's what I thought that embedded meant. And then I, I went to search for other people using this, and there's not very many. Oh shoot, we don't have a bracket for the small form factor. It's all right, I'll just modify it. It's kind of janky, but you can actually just take this, cut it off and bend it over and just use the whole, it works. 
the, uh, the computer that I was using for, what, a year in 2021. It just had one of these with no bracket. I wasn't, you know, changing the monitor every five minutes, so it didn't matter. And there was no space for it to go in there because there's no room. So it was fine. I didn't really know any better. So we have mini display port and I do have an adapter for this, so that's good. So we can test this. I probably, wait. Yeah, I can test this in the uh, precision also because there's no power requirement. All right, that's everything. So I just wanted to catch you guys up on what I'm gonna be doing in the future and check out all these things. I think I'm gonna be busy for a long time, but I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I'll have updates slowly in the description later. I mean, not the description, the uh, comments about which ones worked and which ones didn't. I have a feeling that most of this stuff works, except for maybe the 285s because they're so old. But the rest of it, I'm sure it probably works. So thank you for watching. Go find some more deals and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.